Everybody's complaining. There's a storm coming in. You can see the winds are picking up. It's the remnants of a hurricane. And we're gonna get high winds and rain. So I gotta bring the horses in. Because if a tree comes down and they get spooked, horses go through everything. You guys don't though. You ready? You ready? So I've got to give the feed to the lambs to get them out there so that I can put that gate across here so that then the horses can come up through here and up to the shed. Anyway, this is what I'm going to be doing. Sorry, ladies. I have nothing for you guys. Oh, you're greedy for attention, pushing your friend away. How are you beautiful? Okay. <laughs> if there's any food left after the dogs have eaten it. I've got to move these, this gate down now. The joy is livestock farming when you're not well. But I'm setting, I've been setting it up for years to make life easier. And this trackway certainly does that. Oh, ladies. Okay, now to set everything in motion. The horses know something's up. Okay, gates are set up. To see, if the lambs finish their food before the horses gallop through, they're really quick at hoovering up their food. And the alpaca might ignore the food and do a runner up the laneway. I don't want to expend energy that I don't have chasing alpaca. So, the magic bucket at work. Come on, babies. Don't, don't tip me over. I do not need being tipped over. Look at you. No. Oh dear, the food trough is upside down. Hey you. There we go. See, they'd ignore the food and be racing up the laneway as to do it the normal way. Nope, go on. Go on. Out of girl, Inca. You tell them. Now, close this over. And that keeps alpaca out. Yes, pup. Now, I open this gate. I have to open that gate as well. But it's tied together, so I have to untie it. Woo! Yes, this only has a limit of so far it'll go backwards. All the time it took me to put up that gate, tie this gate open, and untie this gate. Because this stake is weak again. So, Okay, now the horses know whenever I let them out, they're walking away to get ready to gallop through the gate.
There we go. You ready to tell them go? Lambs are in here. Come on. Okay. Horses are in, they have loads of hay. These lambs are in. Now to go and sort the gates out down below. I can let these guys out now actually, because they'll come into the shed with the bad weather. But I have to close these gates here. I'll do that when I've done the gates down below. It's okay babies, I'll let you out in a minute. Gates all closed up. You guys want through, huh? Anyway, I can open this gate easy enough and leave it in situ. All I have to do is lift it and I've hinged it in the middle there. And there we go. The lambs can come in and have access to the water. Their water is right around the corner there. Sorry, babies. You're not coming in. Hey, hey, hey. Dogs. There we go. <laughs> that should stay up in the wind. That might blow down that fence there, but uh, hopefully it won't blow down during the storm. Anyway, the yos, yos all said, "Oh, you're not going to give us anything," and left. So you're done. Yep, I will see you tomorrow morning after the storm has blown itself out. But the wind certainly is picking up. You can see the tops of all the trees are dancing in the wind. And it's going to get worse and worse throughout the night and rain and everything. It's been abandoned by all the rest of the dogs. Oh, except you! but you're on the wrong side of the gate. You weren't fast enough to keep up with me. Okay, I'm gonna let you guys out and you can be out and graze and you can come in for the shelter when you want it. I'm not feeding you anything more. Don't follow me like you're hungry. You have plenty to eat. Okay, go on out, go on out, go on out, go on, there you go. Her wounds are much better, you can see the cream has been doing a wonderful job. They're so much better than they were. Okay, I'm coming. Okay, maybe you guys will want to stay in sheltered. with your horse companions. Oh, come on, out. Just hope the horses don't jump out, but they're protected by the storm from the storm. So as the night goes, the winds, the trees will soon be dancing to the tune of the winds. Isn't that right? Yeah, good pup. Excuse me, excuse me. Hey, hey, Java, Java, Java. Come on, 
Come on. Atta boy, come on. Come on. Good boy, come on. Good boy. Yes, good boy. Not a good boy. Job done. There you are. Where you been? Where you been? Where you been? Clever pup. Come on. Good dogs. That had the horse food in it that the horse is all wolfed down. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, we're going in to be quiet again. Yes, we've had our adventures for the day. Yes, good girl. <laughs> well, the last thing to do before the remnants of Hurricane Nigel is to close the vine house doors because I don't need a gust of wind to go in there in these doors and lift the roof off. You can see there's the last of my tomatoes. Cucumbers are still happening. I brought geraniums and the lemon tree and things inside last night because we had our first frost this morning. So everything's lovely and protected in here. And as you can see, there's still loads of tomatoes to eat. And uh, the next phase will be to dig up and bring the salvias in. This is one that I rescued. It was in the throw out bin or almost throw out bin somewhere, I can't remember. And so I rescued it and it's doing really well. It's recovered and it's a beautiful purple one. It had no flowers on it when I uh, rescued it. It was a dried up scrubby little baby. Anyway, the last thing to do now and uh, is to move the door stop and close the doors. There we go. I'll have to, takes two hands. Okay. Bolted. Oh, this is my other door stop. The old shoe last thing. So close the door and bolt it. And there we go. Bob's your uncle. And all my baby trees have a wire across them to keep them from falling down. And all my other trees are over here. All my other baby trees tucked in here, nice and cozy. Protected in the wall. A lot of those oak trees and hazel and beech are all gonna be planted this coming winter. As is this fig tree, which I got. Keeps wanting to fall down. How are you kitty? Yes, you beautiful kitty. Oh, yes, your friend. Yes, yes. Oh, you're so jealous. You do beautiful. But, oh, okay. You will have to deal with your friend. <laughs> you're beastly. Yes. Oh, you're so beastly. Okay, enough's enough. This tree has to, it keeps wanting to fall down though. I've got to tuck her in. Oh, that'll take two hands. I'm gonna tuck it in. This is a different kind of fig tree to the ones I have. This is big, beautiful, different shaped leaves. This is the fig tree I have. This fig tree is a baby fig tree for a friend of mine that I took from a cutting. Anyway, okay. The day is nearly done and preparations for the remnants of the storm is nearly done and I can go back to my book and dream of planting trees in the winter. The saddest part about this storm is going to be the fruit on this tree. I've been eating these pears or papples or whatever you want to call them. They're so good. And uh, a lot of them blow off in this storm. So I may as well pick a few to bring inside. You want some? All my dogs love eating these. If I eat them, they think, oh, that means it's really good. So they then want um, what I've eaten. 
So that's not ripe. So to see if a pear is ripe, I'll show you. Now, you lift and if it comes off in your hand, it's ripe like that. Those are ripe. But if it doesn't come off and up off when you lift it upright, oh, that one didn't. Oh, that one did. It means it's ripe and not ripe and delicious. And they love eating them. Is that yummy? over my shoulder while I eat my pear. <laughs> Look at them, all eating them. Each having their own pear. The puppy's not quite sure what to do. It's like, that isn't something meaty. That isn't what normal dogs do. I'm a normal dog. I'm trying to figure out eating pears. <clears throat> These are so good. <laughs>